So I've been putting by Coin Magic for a long time in this channel, and I've only done a couple little tutorials on some coin shit, but I promise that's gonna change with this video because I'm gonna show you guys something crazy with a half dollar. So I keep my half dollars in this um, very, very topical uh, coin purse. Let me just, uh, is that a picture of Daniel, Daniel Madison? You gotta keep him close to your, close to your heart, I guess, right? You gotta, <laughs> oh, well, this is the uh, Christmas spirit. I'll, I'll leave that for the, um, the Russian genius. Um, side there what, what do we got here we got a oh no not another cheap plug what's patreon.com pig cake what kind of what kind of craziness is this man this is what's pig cake two e's remember two e's because pig cake's taken what jesus how did i get there i'll just leave that right there for the remainder of the video so we're just um let me just get that right into focus. That's great. That's that's fantastic right there. So uh, so for this, as I mentioned, we're gonna need a uh, we're gonna need a half dollar. That's so we got a, we got one right here. That's that's great. So this put aside. Now this is more of a more more of a bar stunt, less of a trick. So we offer to actually spin the coin on the on the table if it could ever actually spin on this dirty ass table. So we could um just spin it and then actually karate chop it into um the two quarters and you could have the quarters examined there if you want it's really it really is up to you but then of course you offer to bring this back to a, a logical conclusion so you got to just um actually just smash the quarters together back into the uh half dollar let's just get that back there so that's uh so that's a trick it's really it it's, hope you guys enjoyed it if you um do that and of course for this we're gonna need a little bit of a setup and uh pure pure to, uh, discretion here this is uh this is hard as fuck so just uh bear that in mind before you start complaining about the uh complexity of magic and uh, how i should be doing easy tricks or i should be doing harder tricks this one is pretty pretty challenging to get down so obviously to start this you need a uh a, a naruto coin purse so make sure you steal that off your local nerd and um also, beat him up for his Jew money while you're at it with a uh, half dollar inside. Or this, this could just be in your pocket, but I prefer the purse. So this goes right here, and then you uh, obviously have two quarters finger palmed in opposite hands. So yeah, that's where the intensive part here, because you're going to have to do this whole trick pretty much usually either holding one coin in finger palm or two coins. In this particular part, you're going to have to finger palm two coins and uh, pretty much hope that there's no flashing there. But again, that's that's preventable by keeping your fingers together in the sort of uh, East LA gang gang pose right here, this gang sign right here. So you're doing the uh, Ramsey subtlety right there to try to show your hands empty. That's when you have a coin in your finger palm and, and you, they can see your palms. So they assume that your the rest of your hands empty. So you, you come out with your purse or you come out with a half dollar uh, already out and you say, oh, this is crazy. Uh, this, this is a bar stunt. I'm going to I'm gonna show you guys this insane bar stunt that um, that I learned on uh, on the internet here. So you're gonna you're gonna try to spin this. Of course you could spin this if you want, but uh, I try to pretend like like it doesn't spin there. I'm gonna stop doing that because that's annoying. But you you try to spin it and it doesn't work, which is good motivation to do a a switch with the right hand while you brush off the table. So that switch in essence you're gonna switch this coin over here for this coin over here with a thumb pump switch. So pretty much at speed, it should look like, not like that. At speed, fucking retard, it should look like this. So this coin goes into thumb pump at the same time that this coin is being brought up and this is all being hidden by the hands. So at the end, you're gonna have a coin right here in this weird thumb pump uh, position and the quarter at the fingertips of the right hand. So that's ultimately what you're gonna be doing with the right hand as your left hand brushes the table. So let me do that in super slow Michael Marr uh, autism mode right there for you guys. So what happens, this coin right here is gonna be balanced on the forefinger of the right hand. And what's gonna happen is that as you close your hand right here, what, what's happening is that you're, you're making a fist and this, right, this half dollar hits the crotch of your right hand's thumb. So it's gonna hit that crotch right there and you're gonna molest it in there and hold it in place with the right thumb. That thumb is just gonna come in contact with the, the weird part, the base of your forefinger, and that's what holds that coin right in there. So at the same time that this is happening, this thumb is going to work this thing, this, uh, this coin, 
sorry, this coin to the fingertips of the right hand. So I know it sounds like a lot, but this is a move that you can really practice uh, inside of your pocket at school. And uh, the only thing that you're masturbating, but it's a well price to pay for uh, learning this great switch. So it's a good switch that you could do just uh, practicing it um, just on the, uh, when, when you're doing just normal stuff. So it's a good switch to learn. So one more time, you're, you're holding the coin and balancing it on your forefinger. You're squeezing your fist. That brings the coin to the crotch of the right thumb. And at the same time, this right thumb squeezes the coin and presses it together with the rest of the hand. So you're stuck with this um, Michael J. Fox position for a little bit, but it's only for a temporary time. At the same time, this uh, thumb pushes the coin up to the fingertips. So this is happening at the same time that the left hand is brushing off the table. And again, remember you have a coin there. You don't want to flash that because that will ruin the trick. So we have this coin right here. This hand brushes it at the same time that you're executing the switch. And what I like to do is kind of rub the table a little bit with the coin so they remember, oh, there's a coin there and uh, nothing has changed so far. So all to them that's happened is that you're trying to spin the tape, the, the coin, you're trying to spin the coin, you're not able to. So you brush off whatever, uh, whatever jizz or cum or um, uh, a blood of a, the blood of a Serbian woman here on the table. You're brushing that off and then you're putting the coin back and spinning it. Now, the cool thing is that even though there should be a discretion here because this coin is fucking giant and this coin is very small. In America, these, this, is, uh, this is not really used anymore, but uh, you could still find them in some places. If you're from somewhere else, you're gonna have to improvise with two coins that are uh, obviously not as relevant as American coins, but you could still do this with other coins. But the cool thing is that if a coin is spinning, you really can't tell the difference between that quarter and, I mean, I'm sorry, the lubrication on the table there, and this half dollar. There's really no telltale sign because uh, of the motion, you can't tell which coin is spinning. And people don't often compare these two, so they're not gonna notice the difference immediately. So it's kind of a cool discrepancy you could play here. So one more time, you have the uh, half dollar. You try to spin it, it doesn't work because you're autistic. You brush off the table, execute the switch, and then you notice the hand position here. So this, this is what's going on underneath uh, the right hand. So this right hand is just bracing this coin on the table, ready to spin it in this sort of direction. So if you spin the coin, they're not gonna really notice the difference between that and the half dollar that you just switched and having thumb palm. So what's gonna happen is that while this coin is spinning, you're gonna come with your left hand and just hit the, hit the coin flat on the table at the same time that you drop the coin in the left hand. So what that does is that it makes it look like you just karate chopped the shit out of the uh, half dollar into two quarters. So that's kind of a cool little, uh, cool little trick on itself. So at speed, uh, assuming that the sweat from these lights hasn't affected what's gonna happen, you try to spin the half dollar, and that of course doesn't work. So you try to brush the, uh, the dog jizz out of the table at the same time you execute the switch. Then you spin the quarter, karate chop as you deposit, and it looks like you just split the half dollar in two. Sometimes you might have both coins land on the same side. Other times you'll have it land on both sides, which looks even better because that way it actually looks like you just uh, Jared Fogled the shit out of the uh, half dollar. So that's the first phase. You could stop right there if you want. However, if you want to take it to the next level, that's where you execute uh, probably the hardest move of this, which is kind of a, a switch at the same time that you just you hit. It seems like you hit both these quarters together and they fuse back into the half dollar. Now, again, that's completely optional. I usually don't do it, but it's a cool little thing to, to just put in the uh, put in the back of your pocket for whenever you're feeling um, particularly gutsy. So for this, you have this coin in the right hand finger palm. And what you're going to do is that under the guise of just brushing these coins together, you're going to do a bobo switch for this hand right here. So what a bobo switch is, if you've uh, only been in magic for apparently 10 fucking minutes, is that you're going to throw this coin onto this hand at the same time that you hold this coin back. So supposedly to them, it looks like you're just throwing this coin into this hand. However, what's really happening is that you are throwing the opposite coin and holding this coin back. Uh, so it comes from a book by a, by a gentleman whom, who I'm pretty sure was uh, back around when racism was uh, all right, uh, Bobo. So it's, it's named off him if you want some credits there. So what's gonna happen is that as you're just gesticulating to the spectators going, wow, that's crazy, and on the offbeat, 
you're going to seemingly drop this, this quarter back onto the uh, other quarter in the left hand. But what's really happening is that you're going to hold it back and drop the half dollar and close your hand because if you leave it open, again, that kind of tips the method. So ultimately what happens after you close your hand, this coin goes into finger palm in the right hand and you're going to reach over and just pick up the half dollar. You could show a little bit of it, that's fine, but if you show the whole thing, they're going to be like, wow, that's crazy, and you don't, you don't want to spoil the, uh, the trick yet. So what's going to happen in this part is uh, pretty much exactly what you think is going to happen. This coin right here is going to be thrown onto the right-hand finger palm. It's going to make a sound at the same time that this half dollar is hit onto this palm. So that's gonna, that, that little sound right there is going to uh, create the illusion that there's some sort of a uh, fusion happening at the same time that you drop that. So yeah, it's a very knacky move to get, but if you just think in your head, catch this quarter with this hand, it becomes uh, significantly easier. However, keep in mind you are holding this coin, so that's what makes the move extra hard. And you are trying to hide the fact that it's a half dollar. But if you hit it uh, just a couple times and get them used to that sort of action, really there's uh, not much they can see at this point. Plus, keep in mind most people are actually legitimately autistic, so that works in your favor. So it's gonna happen here, and once again, is that you're gonna throw this coin up and catch it into your right hand at the same time that this hand hits the coin against the left hand and lets it fall and register that it's now a half dollar. So that sound is what makes that little, uh, is what sells the move. I can't really do it in slow motion because I don't have uh, superpowers, so unfortunately, you're gonna have to just uh, either go back on this because it's, it's a fucking YouTube, or just take my word for it that this coin is being caught with the right hand at the same time that this half dollar is being uh, deposited onto the left hand. So at speed, assuming that I do not fuck this up, however, if I did, there will be a cut. So it looks like I didn't fuck up. So you're gonna do the move and it looks exactly like you just hit one quarter against the other quarter and it turned into a half dollar. So again, that part is optional. The first part does look kind of cool, the karate chop. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that, as well as the, uh, the sweat from the lights um, and what I do for you guys. So there you go, uh, that's the trick. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, if you did, maybe, maybe you should, uh, maybe you should, um, you know, So I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go teach a bear how to protest male male oppression. When I see you again, 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 when I see you again. Yeah. <laughs>